Are you uh, heading home to get ready for the fundraiser? Oh, I don't think I can go. You don't need me there anyway. What are you talking about? Of course we need you. You were Gus's wife. I mean, hey, listen, we're raising money for the boys' club. Anyway, besides, we uh, could use a pretty bartender. Well, think about it. Oh, okay, good. Well, then I'll expect to see you there uh, after I come back from court. Uh-oh. <laughs> I paid my rent. We're here to escort you down to the party and then uh, put you to work. Yeah, it's the downside of being an honorary Cooper. You gonna be okay? It's, it's been a busy day, and I'm just, I'm not good at parties, and I don't think I'll feel comfortable. Well, uh, that, that's why, well, you know, we're just gonna give you, like, a little job, you know, where you could be where all the action is, and then you don't have to come up with any small talk, so. There'll be things to do. I thought Harley had this all figured out. I wish I could be half as together as she's been. Oh my, please, she's had her moments. <laughs> yeah, but she planned this whole thing and I still don't know if I can get myself down the steps. Look, Frank, you help her. I gotta go downstairs. All right, thanks, Bob. What's the matter? I just can't get It's, uh, well, kind of sticking, right? Yeah. All right, well, here's all you have to do. You just kind of bang it twice there, see? Now you just jiggle the handle and it... I bet you it's that hinge. Let me just see. Well, as you can see, there's nothing in there because I haven't even unpacked. Uh -huh. I've been here almost a week. I just... I can't do it. Um, you know what, Natalia? I, I think it's just... It's going to take a little time, you know? But it may not be a bad idea to be around people. You're a good friend, Frank. And you look really nice in your suit. Really? Mm -hmm. Thanks. I, it's fitting a little tighter these days, though. <laughs> trying to work on it, but... Yeah, I can. I bet you're one of those guys that your place is all neat and tidy. And neat and tidy? Things. What, are you kidding me? My place is a total mess. In fact, I'm so embarrassed every time the maid comes by the end, I... I'm surprised you don't just stay here. I do. I do. Um, you know, but sometimes you need a break from the family, and I, you know. You never had a house of your own? A while ago. But I, I don't really need one now. How long have you been at the Springfield Inn? You know, I think, you're, um, I think your door is ready to go. I think it was just the, the hinge here, so um, I don't think that's going to be sticking anymore, so... Um, See you downstairs. I'll see you downstairs, Frank. Okay, just come straight here after the game. I know what I said. I just, it's important you should be here. Your dad would want you to be here. Glad you're here because we're suffering a server shortage of beautiful women. <laughs> beautiful women with darker hair. He's right. You do look beautiful and good for you for coming. Thank you. And you know what? Maybe I should look for Harley. Thanks. Oh, no, no, no. Um, let me go find her. Uh, but will someone man the cash box? Sure. No worries. Oh, boy. I used to really hate coming to these things alone. You know, I got strangely accustomed to it. For a while, I didn't think I had to anymore. And I spent most of my life losing him. It's just the other times I just thought there was hope he would come back. Well, you know, at least you got to know Rafe, right? I mean, um, they were able to spend some time. I know it wasn't very much time, but knowing that he had a son really changed his life. Hey. 
Thanks. Hey. <clears throat> How are you? I'm good. Good. Hey. Hey. People are looking for you? Uh, it's fine. I'll see you in there. Okay. You gotta chill, okay? It's not gonna make things any better. It's gonna make it worse. Frank, I know it's hard, but she's a grown-up, and I'm sure she knows what she's doing. It's what he's doing that worries me. I tried so hard to keep Rafe and Daisy away from each other. There's nothing you can do. So, Blake, you're really good friends with Harley, huh? Yes, I am. This is nice. A lot of people loved Gus. It's a good party. How are you doing? For a while, I really hated when people asked me that. I just thought you know, they didn't really care about me, so it's just, it seemed a little fake. But honestly, everyone's been very kind. I lost my husband a couple years ago, so I know it's very, um, it's very hard. It's very strange. It's strange when people want to take care of you, and it's very strange when they stop. But if you just keep busy, it. It's helpful. Mm -hmm. You should get out there. You should meet people. People? Are you talking about men? Yes. Oh, please. You're mm -hmm. beautiful. You're young. You'll have no problems. No, I don't think so. Okay, so you're shy. <laughs> so why don't you try the online dating thing? I'm doing that. Are you talking about meeting people like on the computer? Yes. You get a chance to <laughs> chat with them before you, you, you meet them in person. It's Hey, ladies. What's going on here? So, Blakey, what are you doing? Uh, reading excerpts from Coop's book here because Natalia looks a little snoozy. <laughs> it's, it's funny. Yeah. So, thanks a lot Frank. for the support, Frank. Like We're just telling. doing a little bonding here. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Coop, though, um, they're sending mm. mock-ups of the book jacket over, so if you want to come by and oh, take great. a look. Oh, yeah, I'd like to, but I don't want to ditch out of my dad right now. If you could actually send those book covers over to me, I could take a look at it that way. Sure. Okay. Absolutely. Great. Don't worry, Frank. I'm just giving Natalia just a little advice on how to live after you've lost a husband. No worries. Oh, terrific. Oh, don't, don't tell my mom or Uncle Fry or any other cops who still happen to be here. But I'm just a little... Tanked, yeah. I love you, Grandpa. I you always you understand. Eat something, and we'll talk about underage drinking later. Hey, listen, have you seen Marina or Cyrus? Oh, uh, I thought she was headed up the stairs. Yeah, she spilled something on herself, so I sent her up to my room to grab something. I'll go get her, chicken. Thank you. Great. Marina? Oh my gosh, Natalia, I'm so sorry. No, I'm so sorry. It's no, your no, touching. No. Just please don't tell my dad. Tell him what. Oh, hi. Uh, did you find her? She's uh, not She's not dressed yet. She's changing. Okay. You think I'll ever uh, stop being an overprotective dad? No. No one ever tells you that being a single parent is doubly hard, but it just, it makes the good days just kind of twice as good, right? I'm trying this new thing where I, I stop talking at Rafe and I actually listen. So far, so good. Yeah, I just never seem to let uh, Marina get a word in ever, so. I'll tell you what. I promise from now on, I'll be a much better listener. There you go. Thank you. Thank you I really for what? needed I, I needed I needed a break, I guess. Call it a break. Well, I mean Gus would want you to have a break, right? I mean have a little fun? Yeah. I think so. Well, fun's over. 